Now when I refer to myself as the multimeter junkie, there's a reason for that. This is my present collection of Simpson multimeters from left to right. 260 model 6 XLPM 270 series 2 this is a box Simpson 635 that's based on the uh, Simpson 265 it's manufactured by box Simpson in Canada a Simpson 360 series 2 uh, digital multimeter a 260 series 6P and a model 303 VTVM and this is a personal favorite of mine a Simpson 260-6P for decades Simpson was the standard of the industry in multimeters this was the the last of their classic Bakelite models to use the conventional banana plugs that's the reason why it's my favorite the models uh, 7, 7P, 8, and 8P all use the uh, inverted banana plugs. You can see the physical construction is, is typical uh, high quality Simpson. Uh, here's your protection circuit right here. There's a little relay hiding under there. Your uh, range switch, function switch, your two AC adjustments, your 1 milliamp DC adjustment, and your 50 microamp adjustment. Here's your 3 amp fuse and storage for another 3 amp fuse. Okay, now if you can see down inside here, there's the uh, protection relay. And here's your DC blocking capacitor for the output function. And right down in here is your uh, 1000 volt uh, multiplier resistor. Okay, now don't try this at home, folks, but the most common uh, uh, catastrophe to befall uh, an analog VOM normally is that it's on the R times 1 range and you inadvertently get it across uh, 12 volts DC happens all the time or at least it used to happen all the time I'm about to do that this is a 12 volt power supply right here click the uh, Simpsons uh, protection has activated and uh, it's disconnected from the circuit try it again and uh, no damage whatsoever to the meter. I could do that all day long. Uh, the only, uh, the only uh, uh, problem with that is that if the 9 volt battery in there should happen to run down, you have no protection. By the way, on the, uh, on the 6P, I, uh, in theory, I could have just as well have been testing it with uh, 120 volts AC on the R times 1 range and it would have survived just as well. Um, I just don't frankly have the stomach for doing that. <laughs> okay, and we're back for some voltage readings here. Um, I prefer to use uh, ohmmeters such as the Simpson in a tilted position. Now, uh, analog uh, multimeters are typically more accurate on their back, so you sacrifice a little bit in a tilted position, but it's just a lot handier around the shop uh, in my view. So let's try a two and a half volt range to start with, at full scale. Okay, there's just about two and a half volts full scale. Uh, the Fluke is reading uh, uh, about uh, 25 millivolts less. One and a quarter volts. Pretty close. We'll go up to one and a half. Uh, the accuracy is certainly adequate. We'll go to a 10 volt range. Nine point nine. Back off to mid scale, five volts approximately. Four point ninety two. 50 volt range. Four 
50.1 back off to about 25 volts once again the accuracy is uh, very adequate 250 volt range Two hundred fifty three volts, five hundred volt range, which is about the maximum that this power supply will do. And 505, that's about a 1% error there. All in all, a, a very good multimeter, handy for around the shop. Uh, it's, it's rugged and it's overload protected. Okay, and that's the Simpson 260 Model 6P. They're frequently available on eBay in the $50 to $60 range. Just make sure that the one you're getting doesn't have any corrosion in the battery compartment. You'll be in good shape.